Jungkook was doing a set of push-ups with a girl sitting on top of him. Her legs crossed, sitting comfortably on her boyfriend's back while munching on her favorite chips. He was so comfortably doing the push-ups, so used to the weight on his back, which he preferred. Vyan, aren't you tired? You're ten times ahead of usual ones. She looked down and pouted when he didn't reply. Putting the packet away, she laid down on top of him, arms wrapped around his well-built torso. Vyan, baby, stop. Don't tire yourself. He was getting tired, she could tell, the way he started breathing heavily. And his speed started slowing down. The veins on his arms started popping out more as his neck started turning red. Vyan, I am getting off. Jungkook, no. She sighed, knowing he always pushed himself till the end. She kissed his cheeks, resting head on his back. Till he finally couldn't do any more and rested his body down on the floor. She got off him instantly and grabbed a towel, coming back to him. Sitting down on the ground beside him, he sat up, taking the towel and wiped off his back. Jungkook, thank you baby. She smiled and her fingertips slowly grazed over his inked arm. She really loved his tattoos. So cool. So hot. Vyan, you worked out extra today. She was usually with him during these hours, as it was the only time for both of them were free and could be with each other. However, today they stayed an extra hour because the guy was being competitive today. Jungkook, I enjoyed your pretty ass on my back. He joked, earning a slap on his arm from her, making him laugh out. Fine, jeez, you pervert. He grabbed her wrist, pulling her closer to kiss her. Yet, she pushed him away. Fine, let me go. You stink. He didn't. And he knew it too. It was her another try of being a trying hard to get. He smirked, making an amused expression, pulling her in a crushed tight hug. She squealed, letting out a laugh before snuggling in him. God, how much they loved each other. How much she loved him. He was the only one who could provide her warmth, protection and happiness. He was the only one to spoil her, and so she accepted every imperfection of his, especially the biggest truth of his life, being a mafia. Vyan, drop me off home, Jungkook. It's already so late. Mom is going to get real mad. Jungkook. Then don't go. Vyan, Gook, Jungkook, I'm sorry to say Vyan, but I really hate your parents. They have no right to insult you like this and keep an eye on you. Whilst Jungkook dropped her home and her mother was going out somewhere and looked at Vyan with anger filled look and said, Oh, finally, you decided to come back home. That's all he knew till now. And Vyan told him they are a bit strict, but only if he knew that was not everything. If he got so worked up at that, then she was not ready to tell him how they were in real. Vyan, I still have to go back, no? Jungkook, 
I told you a lot of times. I'll say this again. You can move in with me whenever you want, okay? She nodded, pecking his lips and stood up, which was kind of a hard task as he wasn't ready to let go. After a while, he finally dropped her home after telling her several times to call him afterwards and let him know if everyone was alright with her. Oh God, she had to push him away at the end, ran out of his car to finally get away with him. She laughed and waved off at him and then entered the home. Taking deep breaths, she decided to go straight to her room. But of course, why would luck be on her side? Once she stepped inside, everyone was on a dinner table. Yet, no one was eating at all, as if they were waiting for her with pissed off expressions. She was one and half an hour late. Wine, I'm sorry. I dropped by my friend's home for a while. Her heart started beating furiously. By the way, his parents were eyeing her with so much anger. Here, she wished she didn't return, or her Jungkook was here to protect her. Father, there is something called a sense spoon, right? Why, Dad, I'm sorry. You could have eat. She flinched taking a step back when he slammed his hand on the table, getting off his chair out of anger. Father, learn to accept your goddamn fault. She looked down, scared, yet angry at his behavior. It was a daily drama at this point, and it only angered her no matter how much she tried to keep herself in check. Vine, I'm sorry. Mother, leave it, honey. Don't ruin your mood. It's her daily thing to ruin our peace. Vine, Mom, I only stayed out for like an hour. Can't I do that? Please don't be like this. I have a life too. Mother, life, yeah? You ruined our lives and now you stand in front of us saying bullshit. Vine went speechless for a moment. She could never understand what she did wrong to deserve this. Or really, ruin their lives? It never made any sense. Vine, oh, I guess you both had a bad day at work again. Yeah, that's perfect, you know. Come back home and take all of your pent-up anger on your innocent child. You know what? I'm tired of you two at this point. She threw her bag down angry and ran upstairs to her room. But her breath hissed when her father started running after her. The anger turned into sheer fear when he grabbed her hair so harshly, pulling her down with him. Father, how dare you scream at our faces just because you are getting this shelter and food free. You'll know how to live a life on your own now. Have a taste of your own medicine. He started dragging her towards the main door while she was screaming and crying to let her go, trying to free her hair as it hurts like hell. He kicked open the door and threw her out, who fell down crying clearly having her bare knees hurt badly. He stepped forward kneeling beside her and holding onto her jaw so harshly. Father, there's no place for you anymore. 
Remember that. He was pulled back with a strong grip in his hair. A fist landed on his face, throwing him back, making his nose bleed due to the strong punch he received. It was like seeing stars in daylight. Mine. Jungkook. No. Stop. He's my father. She yelled, realizing he stayed there till she didn't confirm that she was alright. A cry escaped her lips, knowing there was someone who truly loved her and cared for her. It was not enough to calm the raised Jungkook, who felt like he was going to murder her parents out of his anger. Where the hell was he? How come he never saw what she was going through? How come he failed to protect her when he thought he was doing a great job at it? He kept landing fists on her father, not able to hear anything happening around him. She tried to stand up to stop him and fell back down due to her knees and let out a painful sob. That's when he stopped, his anger turning into worry as he left the almost lifeless human and ran back to Wine kneeling down beside her. Jungkook, baby, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? He cupped her cheeks, wiping her tears, and looked down at her knees. Jungkook, it's okay. It will heal. He picked her up, turning towards her father one last time. Her mother was busy trying to keep him stable. Jungkook, you too. Never deserved a child. Saying that he turned around, taking her with him in a rush, getting in the car and drove off out of the sight, which only angered him more and more. He stopped at a far peaceful place and treated her wounds. Being extra careful whenever she winced out in pain, he hated the tears in her eyes. And that made him angry once over again. Jungkook, why didn't you tell me why? Didn't I deserve to know? Why? No. No, it's not like this. I knew you were not going to let me stay there anymore. Why? You really wanted to stay there when you could be living with me happily. Vyan, Jungkook, I'm sorry. Please understand me. I know you don't care about these things, but I want you to start a job and start earning before settling with you for my relief. That I didn't use you for my advantage. He sighed, closing his eyes. No, he wouldn't understand such formalities. They never matter to him, but he always tried to understand them for her. Jungkook, alright, I understand, but now you're living with me, there's no way I'm sending you back there. She nodded in a way it came out so cute, while a huge pout adored her lips, making him chuckle and squish her in his arms. Fine, I'm going to tease you a lot. You'll regret it. She playfully wiggled her eyebrows, laughing when he made a not-so-happy face. Jungkook, it's fine. I'll make sure to punish you properly. And then, we'll be even. Now it was his time to laugh when a tiny fist landed on his chest and red color adoring his girlfriend's cheeks. Vyan, pervert. He felt his anger washing off, happy that she's finally moving it with him. Now, 
he could personally make sure she was doing all right. And he did. Since the day she moved in with him, she felt like the happiest person alive. He gave her all the love and protection she deserved.